We are switching gears. Today's episode is all about Team Omid, the U23 national team of Iran. We've got highlights from all three of Iran's qualifiers for the 2022 U23 Asian Cup, and we will be analyzing some future Iranian football stars. You know the deal, and you know what time it is. It's time for Team Elite Talk. Head coach and legend Mehdi Mahtafikia has got to be feeling good, and so are his footballers after qualifying for the 2022 U23 Asian Cup. Hey everyone, glad you're back for some more Team Melee Talk. We know why you're here, so let's get right to the highlights from Iran's showdown with Tajikistan in Dushanbe. The Tajik struck first in the 10th minute when Islam Zoyrov fired his shot past Reza Kassaz. A 1-0 lead for Tajikistan, a win or a draw would be enough to win the group. But it only took Iran three minutes to answer when Yassin Salmani scored a beauty from a set piece to level the score at 1-1. Six minutes later, a turnover by the Tajiks and Hossein Nohodkar quickly finds his captain and Yassin Salmani does the rest by putting the ball into the roof of the net. Iran takes a 2-1 lead, silencing the crowd in Dushanbe. The action-packed first half continued when Tajikistan was awarded a penalty after a foul from Yunus Akbarpur. Eson Panchambe stepped up and scored from the spot to level the score at 2-2. Could there possibly be more goals in this amazing first half? Later in the half, a free kick for Iran, but Milad Kors' header goes over the bar. Now it's the 45th minute, a corner kick for Iran. The cross from the Khodkar is headed home by you know who, Yassin Salmani, a hat trick in the first half. Simply incredible. Iran with a 3 2 lead. Five goals in the first half. What would happen in the final 45 minutes? Let's check out the second half highlights. Esan Panchambe with a chance to equalize early in the second half, but his free kick barely misses the far corner. Panchambe again, but this time his shot goes straight to Reza Kaksaz. Arya Barzagar nearly does it all himself, but a huge save from Shorukh and an even better clearance from Baghdad Hananov keeps Tajikistan in the match. Four minutes later, Barzagar again, this time a free header, but the ball bounces off the crossbar. The Tajiks came close to finding the equalizer in the 76th minute, but Rustam Swerov is unable to put it away. And that's the way it would end. Neither team would score in the second half, despite five goals in the first half. Iran wins 3-2 and books a ticket to the U23 Asian Cup in Uzbekistan. Now, in terms of analysis, this wasn't the best of matches for Iran. And at the same time, I can't be surprised because unfortunately, Iran has struggled a lot at the U23 levels. And of course, I'm obviously very happy for the boys for qualifying to the 2022 U23 Asian Cup. But at this moment, I am actually much more excited about three footballers that I think will be future stars for Iran. And those three players are Mehdi Limbuchi, Hossein Dohodkar, and Yassin Salmani. Let's start with Mehdi Limuchi, a winger who is currently playing for Gashkai in the Azadegan League, the second level of football in Iran. He scored two goals recently in qualifying, one against Nepal and another against Lebanon. He is dangerous in front of the net and he is fast on the flanks. This is exactly what you want from a winger. Next, Hossein Nohodkar of Gol Gohar. He was excellent in qualifying with two goals against Nepal and two assists in the crucial clash against Tajikistan. Jose Nohodkar is a very smart footballer and has shown that he has the quick decision making you would want from an attacker. He is good with set pieces and he has excellent ball distribution skills. In simple English, Jose Nohodkar knows how to be at the right place at the right time. Last but not least, Yassin Salmani of Sepahan. Obviously, a lot of great things have already been said about him. Four goals during U23 Asian Cup qualifying. He has already been called up to Team Melee for World Cup qualifiers. 
it is only a matter of time before we start seeing the pitch. As we saw, he is dangerous in the air and he has excellent finishing skills. The bottom line is that Yassin Salmani can do it all and he has a very bright future ahead of him. Now what about you? Are there some other potential stars from Iran's U23 national team? Leave a comment down below. Always looking forward to getting your input. Iran able to top the group with three wins out of three? This was a close one because it was only the group winners that were guaranteed to qualify to the 2022 U23 Asian Cup. Yes, some of the second place teams would make it as well, but you don't want to play with fire having to rely and hope for other results in other groups to go a certain way. But at the end of the day, just want to say congratulations to Iran's U23 national team for qualifying to the 2022 U23 Asian Cup in Uzbekistan. That tournament will be played in June of 2022. Congratulations to our boys and good luck. And that is it everyone for this special edition of Team LA Talk. As always, really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, www.teammelitalk.com. Remember, this is your best source for the latest news on Team Meli, the national team of Iran. Make sure you find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the handle, at Team Meli Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. See you on the next edition of Team Meli Talk.